Hello and welcome to my biggest squish haul ever. I am in no way exaggerating when I'm saying this is the most squishmallows I've ever bought in a six week period of time. This isn't even all of them. There's a lot to show you so let's get straight into the squish haul. Squish number one is this beautiful badger. This one is a honey badger and it's holding honey. It's holding honey and it's honey badger. The same as Mita or Mita. And the most exciting thing about this squad, they got their bios back. I was joyfully celebrating because we haven't had bios in squishes for so long and I love reading about their personalities. Like this honey badger is shy but loves to go to rock concerts. What an icon. She also has this really cute fluffy tail. So the other member of this squad I got was Camilo the chinchilla, a chinchilla eating a donut. It also has this adorable fluffy tail. They're fluffy tail buds. Although the chinchilla's one is a lot bigger. I only just realised that. The other members of the squad are so cute too. There's a red panda that's eating an M&M cookie. I actually thought it was a paint palette for a second but no, I'm pretty sure it's an M&M cookie. There's a Shiba Inu eating pizza. I've got a hedgehog holding a watermelon and a mushroom holding a star. So cute. I wanted to get like the whole squad, but I was restrained. You know me, I'm just so restrained. Also, the most exciting thing about this one is I had been waiting for this squad to come out and in all the photos, it looked like it was like a dark brown gray color. I get there and it's purple. Hello, it's like the exact same color as my purple couch. Next on the squish agenda, we have clips. Brand new clip squad came out. I managed to find a full box and pick up one of each of them. I got these from Kmart. You can also get them from like Toy Worlds, Toy Mates. This clip squad is so cute. It has so many cute members. First of all, we have Lee, the little yellow frog. He has brown spots on the back and it's really giving drift from Animal Crossing vibes. Then we have a purple octopus wearing a crown. Doesn't get much better than that. And it's not just any crown. It's it's a seashell crown. Her name is Violet and it's so funny because I know Violet's bio because I have about 10 of them and she loves collecting treasure so my headcanon is she was swimming down the bottom of a sunken submarine and found a seashell crown. She's also like my favourite colour ever. She pretty much just camouflages into my shirt. So these two were absolute must-haves. And then whenever I see clips, I just fall in love with the characters and we end up buying the whole squad. So, scuba diving pineapple, very SpongeBob, named Maui. Pink snail! I love the snails. They're just so funny. Look at their shells. This one has little like holographic antennas. Her name is Sylvina. Then I have a dinosaur. I love dinosaurs. This is Zan and the dinosaur. I especially love that it has this texture. And then finally, we we have Reed the turkey, which is a very popular Squishmallow. He's very funny. He has his little hair. He has his little eye mask. As discussed, we love the frog. So naturally, I also got a 12-inch frog. His name is also Lee. He also has spots on the back. The nice thing about the big one is that they are like Squishmallow fabric. So on this one, they're just embroidered. But on this one, you get embroidered outside and Squishmallow fabric on the inside. Now, this frog is from a new squad from Kmart. The other member of the squad I picked up was an alien in a bucket hat. I am so obsessed with the alien Squishmallows. I have a little collection. Okay, it's only got four Squishmallows in it at the moment, but two of them are the exact same alien because they're not the exact same alien. Every single alien has like a different galaxy pattern and it makes me so excited and I want to look through all the aliens and find all the cute ones and just buy them even if I already have them in the size because they're so cute. And this one is wearing a purple bucket hat. A purple bucket hat. Hat. I was a bit aggressive. I'm sorry. I'm just so excited. The bucket hat is the best thing of my life. Extra love how his little antennas are poking through the bucket hat. It's just the perfect squishmallow design. Now, the only disappointing thing about these two squishmallows is not due with the squishmallows themselves. It's the bios. They're gone. They're gone. Why didn't we get bios in this one when we got them in the other 12 inch one? There were four other members of this squad. We had this thing. I don't know if it's cotton candy. Is it fairy floss? Is it like a slushy? Is it like one of those like shaved ice snow cone things? I'm not sure but it's pretty cute and it's really fluffy on the top. And we have another yellow creature. This one's a banana slug. That's a very very specific squishmallow they made. You know there's some insect enthusiast out there who's just living the dream right now. Or maybe they're really upset because the banana slugs aren't accurate to how banana slugs really are. Let's find out. Banana slug. That literally just looks like a banana. Oh my gosh they are really yellow. Okay it's Marshmallows did a great job. There is also a really cute dog. I think it's a basset hound because it has really long ears and it's just giving basset hound vibes. There is a shark. I'm not sure if it's a whale shark or just a regular shark, but it has really cool sparkly bits on it. And that's the squad. The other thing that I'm looking for at the moment is apparently, so Banter Toys, who are the people who distribute Squishmallows in Australia, posted on Facebook that there's a five inch in both of these coming. I will be going crazy hunting for those. I don't think they've come out yet. I haven't seen anybody find them, but as soon as they're out in the wild. I will be at every Woolworths. I will be at every Coles. And then I'll have a whole little family of yellow frogs. My mini bucket hat alien can join my alien family. I can't wait to find them. Having said that, five inch squishers are the hardest for me to find. So last video, I was talking about how 
I could not find the beetroot squishmallow everywhere. I was obsessed with it. I went to over a hundred different Woolworths and Coles trying to find this thing and I couldn't find it anywhere. But guess what? I finally found it! Only took me like four months, but there we go. It was sitting in the store one day. However, this beetroot you see here, I didn't actually buy because by the time I actually found them, I had already managed to acquire three whole beetroots and listed a little army of squishmallow hunters. And by army, it was literally just my mum and one of my friends. But they were successful. Look at these three beetroots. So these three beetroots are very close to my heart, literally and figuratively. And I am extremely happy that I finally acquired three beetroots, even if I didn't find them myself. Now also from the beetroot squad is another five inch that I had trouble finding. I am now having trouble finding it in this bag. So it's this cute little green armadillo called Arilla. It's got really cute scales on the back. It's a very pretty color green. She's so cute. I'm glad I could find her. I did find this one myself. She was sitting on a shelf all by herself and there was a two-year-old by the shelf and I was like oh my god are you kidding me? I've been to over a hundred Woolworths trying to find this beetroot and hoping to find this one as well and this little two-year-old is just gonna take it from me. The two-year-old didn't take it. I was able to buy it. It was a very exciting time. I've lost a very important squishmallow and in the process of trying to find it I just lost one of my rings. It's chaos here. You're not even a squishmallow. How cute is this bingo though? It had blended into my purple blanket. That's what happens with purple squishmallows. So two really cute seven inch squads have come out at Kmart, they're at Target, they're probably a big W. I'm not sure if they're at Toy Made or Toy World, probably. They seem to be everywhere. And in this squad, we have so many cuties. First of all is this glorious purple beetle. This is one of the ultimate squishmallows for me. It has three different shades of purple. It has the little rosy cheeks. Also in this squad is this Loch Ness Monster. They've really updated the Loch Ness Monster design. The original one was green and had arms up here. It has little embroidered spots. It has like corduroy stuff on its stomach. It has little spikes on its back. A cute little tail. I love it. Also from this squad, I got this apple juice. It's so cute. It's named Jean. I feel like there's a joke there, but I can't think of it. I like its little straw and its little apple. I'll definitely be collecting all the juice squishmallows if they continue to make juice squishmallows a thing. Grape juice would be ideal. Oh my God, have you seen the clips of everyone throwing flowers at Harry and grape juice. That is so irrelevant, but it's like my favorite thing ever to watch. So those were three members of one seven inch squad. In that seven inch squad, there is also a scuba diving pineapple, a sea monster, shark, eel creature and a cherry named cherry moving on to the second seven inch squad i don't know why they're not all just one big squad because they all kind of have the same vibe but anyway it's two different seven inch squads it came out at the same time so we've got this glorious 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 puffer fish it has all these little like spots you can feel on it it's like little i was gonna say indentations but like the opposite of any indentation it's got this little bit of wish fabric coming out and it's really nice to feel it's kind of like the texture of this one but in spot form this one's named safa can't tell you anything about them because they don't have a bio in their tag. And we have Cam the Cat, my first Cam the Cat. Finally got the mascot. And this Cam the Cat is actually a cat in the hat. Don't talk to me about the cat in the hat though. That is a traumatizing movie for me. I legit had nightmares about it as a kid. I was so scared. I was crying in the cinema. I don't know if I was crying in the cinema actually, but I was crying internally. It was a very distressing movie and it wasn't just me. My sister agrees with me that it was the most stressful movie. Live action cat in the hat literally scarred me for life. So I need this cat in the hat to scare away the scary cat in the hat. And he's doing a pretty good job pretty scary. I was extremely excited to get the seven inch of this octopus wearing a little seashell crown. And this one is holographic. I think this one was holographic too, actually. Yeah, it was. Beautiful Princess Violet in her little seashell crown. Next, we have this creature. And this creature was so intriguing to me. I don't know what it is. I think it's probably a snake, but it doesn't look like the snake. So maybe it's some kind of lizard or something. But every single lizard, snake, this creature had a completely different pattern. And I was so excited looking at all of this one. And I liked the way this one looked. Its name is Forest. Oh, that's so cute. What a cute little fellow. The other two members of that squad that I didn't pick up was this really, really cute bungee. It had little, like a little heart nose and there's also a kiwi. They're really trying to cover all the fruits. So I got some of them from Kmart, some of them from Target, but you can get all of them at both. The other thing that Target had this month was 14 inch, wait no, 10 inch. They had small hug me's. I don't know what size this is, but it's so cute. I've never bought a hug me before because they're really, really big. And I haven't found any designs that I've like really loved, but I really loved this one. And it just looked so small and cute. Its name is Dunkey. Everyone is obsessed with this one. This one does have a bio. She loves snorkeling. Where is her snorkel mask? They had so many hug me's at Target. They have 14 inch ones of this one and they have axolotls, they have cats, they have bunnies and squirrels and 
other random creatures. But yeah, this was the first time a hug me really captured my heart and I love it. Now, we have reached a very exciting segment of the video. Welcome to my unboxing session or unbagging session. These cute little Squishmallow mystery packs were at Target and I was very excited. I love opening mystery bags. I also love getting the ones that I want. And the ones I wanted was 100% this shark, this pomegranate, flamingo in a skirt and coconut. So I was looking through all of them and somebody had already opened one of them. But it was a coconut so I was like, well, I'm just going to buy that one. Now, these ones are scented. My sense of smell is really terrible. I have trouble identifying scents. This one actually smells exactly like a coconut. Maybe not like a coconut. I don't think I've ever sniffed a coconut in my entire life. But you know, when you have like coconut flavored slice, it smells exactly like that. It has these really cute little leaves that just want to curl up. It has a fluffy belly. They also come with tags, which is cool because the other mystery ones I've opened in the past didn't come with tags. Unfortunately, there is no bio inside. I'm very pressed about this bio thing. The other three, I still haven't opened, so I don't actually know which ones I got, but I was a bit sneaky. Well, it's not my fault. It's packaging design. I was just taking advantage of the packaging design of right? It has holes in the bottom. So I was using my big brain and looking through the holes to hopefully get the colours of the one I wanted. So you're going to see my live reaction if we did get the ones I wanted. I always talk about stuff being live when this is literally pre-recorded, but I'm opening it on camera so it's, it's the same thing. Not at all. Anyway, so the one I, I'm pretty sure this is the shark. It has blue and it's the only blue one so it should be the shark. Wow, these are hard to open. How some person randomly opened this coconut. I can't open this when I'm wanting to. It's the shark, but he's stuck. Am I really so weak that I'm gonna have to get scissors? No, I win. This is so cute. It's a little shark wearing a little Hawaiian shirt. Its name's Ray. Oh my God, beautiful. Look how happy he is. He's just loving life right now. I am loving him right now. He smells kind of like fruity. So there are the two we have so far. We've got two out of the four we wanted. Now, the one I was nervous about is the pomegranate and the flamingo because they're both kind of like a similar color. Like there's reddy pink. So I'm hoping one one of these is going to be a flamingo, one of these is going to be a pomegranate, and if I got two of the same one, that's going to be quite disappointing and I'm going to have to go back to Target. Me versus bag round two. Oh my gosh, I did it again! I just ripped off the foil again, I'm totally destroying these bags. But also, oh my god, that's so cute, and it's a flamingo, yay. Oh my goodness, this is such like a hot pink. Her wings go up, she's a dancing queen! That is so cute, that is actually so cute. So she has a little flower on her head that has, it's like holographic, oh my goodness. Okay, the final bag. Let's see if I can actually open it properly this time. And hopefully we've got a pomegranate inside. I don't understand how that person opened the coconut so easily. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's it! Okay, first of all, I think this is a dragon fruit. Named Delita. It's probably a dragon fruit. Delita the dragon fruit. Second of all, so cute. Oh my goodness. Look at these little um holographic leaves. Well, that was very exciting and that was very good picking on my part. Thank you to the person who opened the coconut so I could secure that one. I do not understand how somebody was just in the store and they just opened that so easily. Did they have scissors in their bag? What is going on? This is my attempt and this is the one the person opened in the store. Crazy. Next Squishmallows we're going to discuss is Squishmallows I got in the mail. I've been back at it looking at Squishmallows on Depop, looking at Squishmallows on eBay and I got some really cute international ones that I'm very excited about. It's Stacy. When I started collecting Squishmallows, Stacy was the rarest, most expensive Squishmallow you could find. And I really thought I would never own a Stacy, but I found this beautiful one for a beautiful price. It even has like the original Squishmallow tag where the squad was on the front. It has her bio inside. This is what we're talking about. She has the XOXO, it's a Valentine's one. So happy I can add her to my little squid family. I also got cute little pink frog holding a cute little pink heart. It's got its little fingers on this like holographic heart. It's got little pink spots. It's got a Valentine's Day tag, it's called a Lonina also has its bio. This is a 10 out of 10 tag. So, so cute. I'm obsessed with frogs. I'm obsessed with this frog. So happy they made a pink frog. All we need now is a purple frog. Give me the purple frog. Speaking of purple, I did obtain this purple walrus. This is Winnie the purple walrus. She is a 12 inch walrus. She is very, very cute and very, very purple. My favorite color purple fits in with my lavender squishmallow collection and I love her. So that was my squish mail of the month. Now I went to a few events this month where there were squishmallows. So the first event I went to was Comic Con. I went to Comic Con specifically because I knew there'd be Squishmallows there and it was very exciting. There were so, so many Squishmallows there. So many crates full of Squishmallows. There was a Squishmallow claw machine. They had all these tubs of Squishvilles. So I picked up a bunch of Squishvilles. I think I got 11 of these Squishvilles because the thing about Squishvilles is they're kind of a little bit overpriced. It costs like $10 for one mystery Squishville and I'm sorry I'm not paying that. Uh, they were selling them for $4 each so I was very excited. Got this Poodlin skirt, a mango, Brian 
rhino in a scarf. Cherry, cat in a dress. Another cat, little blue dragon. Oh, I found my ring. A unicorn in a tuxedo. A hamster, a poodle. I'm pretty sure this hippo was meant to be wearing this skirt. There is meant to be a chinchilla. Where is my chinchilla? I got a chinchilla. I don't know where it is. Just imagine this, but tiny and not holding a donut. So I got all those from Comic Con. Also got... These adorable stackable. I was so excited to find these. I've never seen small stackables in Australia. It's a peacock. It's got this big, beautiful tail with this fluff on top. And it's just so cute. I want more mini stackables. I want all the designs in mini stackables. Stackables are adorable, but there's something about mini stackables that just makes them even cuter. But yeah, that was a good Comic Con find because I've never seen them in actual stores. The other event I went to, I literally just went to the other day, was a toy market. It was specifically a toy market. It had pre-owned toys. It had new toys. And I saw quite a lot of Squishmallows, but I totally lost my mind when I found two on my ISOs. So yes, these are Valentine's Squishmallows. There's a whole story with these. So these came out at Kmart in some states at some stores and they didn't come out at my store and I couldn't find them anywhere in the state and I tried to buy them off someone online but they cancelled my order and I was sad. But then I found them. I found them. I've also heard that these are coming to like Toy Nates and Toy Worlds. I don't know why Valentine's Squishes are going to stores in June. But anyway, they're so adorable. So this is a grasshopper with pink heart antennas. So cute. I also love the pink stomach. I think these colours look really nice together. It's called Hayden. Oh, it has a bio too. Good job. Hayden has the prettiest kitchen in all the land. Wow. A grasshopper who can cook. And then pink stingray. I absolutely love stingrays. I love how they have their little flippers. They're just so cute and we've now got my first pink stingray. The final thing I have to show you today is actually not Squishmallows. It's the Bum Bum section. I know Bum Bums aren't Squishmallows but they're like so close to Squishmallows and I'm so excited about collecting them. I'm just going to show you them. So I was really shocked one day. I was just at Kmart looking for Squishmallows and they had Bum Bums. So yeah, Bum Bums are now at Kmart for significantly cheaper than you'd find them at other places. I got this glorious mushroom, this daisy and this sunflower. I got this. Oh my gosh, there's my chinchilla. Ta-da. What's that? worth the way. Anyway, I had gotten this flower from Kid Stuff. But look how cute these little flowers look. It's a little garden of flowers. They look so cute together. Now I have one final thing to show you today and it is one of the most important purchases I've ever made in my entire life. I have lost it. I have lost it. Oh, I found it. But as you can see, I'm sitting on a purple couch. Now plot twist, it's not actually a purple couch. It's a brown couch with a purple couch cover on it. Because to buy a purple couch is about $3,000 and to buy a purple couch cover was $30. So obviously I just got a couch cover. But anyway, I'm pretty obsessed with my purple couch and I found out that there was a purple couch bum bum and I tell you I lost my mind. It's only been released in America. It hasn't been released in Australia yet, but I was like, we're paying the shipping. I need that purple couch bum bum. It is a purple couch to sit on my purple couch. Like, isn't that the most glorious thing you've ever seen? It's such a similar color to my purple couch too. Like of all the colors they could have made a bum bum couch, they made it purple. Was it inspiration from me? Probably not, but um, I'll take it. I paid quite a bit to get it shipped here, not gonna lie. And I was like agonizing. I was like, what if it comes out in Australia? But then I discovered my new dream in life. My entire life's aspiration is to just own enough purple couch bum bums to cover my entire purple couch and it's just going to be a beautiful army of them they're going to sit all the way along here there'll just be hundreds of them it'll just be a purple couch covered in purple couches and that's all I think about now it's taken over my entire life that's my true goal in life that's my end game and that's the end of this video well thank you very much for watching all of that I hope you enjoyed the video I had so much fun talking about all these squishmallows I hope that you've been having some good squishmallow hunting times too and I'll see you again soon bye